Hello, nerds! Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your week in Nerddom TV edition for the week of June 4th, 2018. This week in TV, we've got people leaving one of our favorite shows here on Generally Nerdy. We have an update on uh, another one of our favorite comic books getting turned into a show. Westworld things are going on and intro. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me and talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On generally nerdy. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we can get into the news, guys, we have to get into this week's sponsor. This week's sponsor is the Your Mom Thinks I'm Advertiser Friendly shirt. Looks a little something like this. And it's the shirt that says, I don't do this for the ads. I do this for your mom. You can get this shirt over on the Teespring store, teespring.com slash stores slash generally nerdy. That is the only place to get the your... <clears throat> That is the only place to get the Your Mom Thinks I'm Advertiser Friendly shirt. It's sponsored this entire week. Uh, I had to do shirt laundry, so I don't have my regular shirt on. I wish I had a Your Mom shirt, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm too poor to buy my own merch. <laughs> Again, you can get this shirt over on teespring.com slash stores slash generally nerdy. Now, let's get into the news. Coming out the gate, guys, we have The Walking Dead. Yes, The Walking Dead. Andrew Lincoln made an announcement that he is not long for this series. Matter of fact, this next season, he's only going to be in about half of it. If things stay as they are right now, there is a fan uh, petition to keep him on the show, though AMC is gearing up for him to be leaving, and they are rumored to be offering a lot of money to Norman Reedus to get him to stay. They're going to, apparently, the, the plan, the, at least the temporary plan, is to shift Daryl as the leader. We also know that Lauren Cohen is going to be limiting her amount on, of time on this show, on this season rather, uh, because she got picked up on another show when she was renegotiating her contract. There is now a rumor that she's not going to be returning in season 10 either. So we very well could be losing two of our of our regulars, of the, of the two of them that have been around since almost the first season. Lauren Cohen didn't come in as Maggie until season two, but still, they are the, some of the longest running characters, and they are primary characters in the comic book, so that really changes that dynamic. So I I don't I don't think Lauren's going to be leaving. I do think Andrew Lincoln is going to be leaving. Um, it it just he's made an announcement that he wants to start working on movies and so on and so forth. He wants to get back into movies, I guess. Um, I uh, that this this kind of bums me out. This this kind of really bums me out. But. I, I really doubt the fan petition is going to make any difference to his decision or AMC's decision. I think that it'll be interesting to see how they shift the dynamic and put Daryl in control. I feel like a lot of that is going to depend on the first half of the next season. But we won't know until it comes out. So let's kick on to a lock and key update. Yes, lock and key, the Joe Hill comic book. Uh, so it was, we talked about it when it was being shopped out to Hulu. They, they filmed a pilot and Hulu didn't pick it up and that's kind of where we've left it. Well, Netflix is possibly looking to order a whole season of this dark, evil comic book as a, as a TV show. So that kind of, the, the announcement that they're looking into and actually from what I heard, they're, they're very, very actively like looking to strike a deal to get this show actively looking. Uh, so the question is, because this wasn't exp expressed, 
The question is, are they going to recast? Is this going to be the third time we get a casting announcement for Lock and Key? I, I would imagine not because they did get, they've shot two pilots at this point. And the, the last pilot they shot was so recent that I feel like it's still feasible to have that cast uh, sign on to do a season. No word on exactly how long the season would be, though I would imagine it would float around somewhere around 10 episodes, about an hour each. So, crossing fingers. <laughs> uh, but that's all we have for Lock and Key. Next up, we're talking Westworld again, and I think, I think I figured it out. Dolores is trying to escape, and Dolores is going to escape at any means necessary. And then we have uh, the Madam, I, I, I should have wrote down character names and I apologize, but uh, the Madam, uh, who was in Solo, I can't think of her name, I can't even think the actor's name. She isn't trying to escape, she's trying to recreate her family and is effectively wanting to live her life just inside of Westworld. And then Bernard is trying to make sense of everything, even though he's technically a part of the system, he's, uh, uh, he's also separate. He doesn't have the same communication with the other hosts because he's unique, because Anthony Hopkins, again, character names are just not coming to my head right now. Anthony Hopkins character told uh, designed him to be different and then we have Ed Harris's character the man in black um, again names Woo! just gone should have wrote him down I'm sorry but uh, Ed Harris's character he's still trying to figure out what Anthony Hopkins was doing so they're all all of the people and we're gonna count Bernard as a person all of the people are, are effectively going for the same ends, but all of the hosts want different things. And I think that's an interesting dichotomy of the, the two groups of characters. Technically, we are, we're following four groups of characters, but still. Uh, just the last episode, I feel like, brought everything back together because it, it, everyone started falling off. Uh, it, some of the people that I, that, that I follow on YouTube or the social medias, have kind of fallen off. Even my girlfriend was saying, I don't think this season's as good as the last season. And then this episode kind of brought that back a little bit. Not all the way. It's still like, eh, I'll give them one more episode, but uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like now we have direction, and that's a good thing. I f just Jonathan Nolan is trying to make this more convoluted than the last season, and that's unnecessary. But that's kind of where we're at right now. What do you guys think? The, the, this week's episode is airing as I'm filming this, so hopefully we will have a little bit more to talk about next week. And that's all we got. Then we have a very large announcement around The Watchmen. Yes, HBO's Watchmen. Uh, there's been some set pictures that have leaked. Don Johnson, uh, we have not talked about his casting. He has been cast, and he's one of the police officers. And the set pictures that recently got leaked were, leaked were of him. And he, again, he's a police officer, and he's surrounded by other police officers. And on their badge, this is the part we're talking about. There's other th weird things about the pictures, but specifically, uh, the badge says Tulsa Police. Nothing in the Watchmen universe happens in Tulsa, but... Producer Damon Lindelof uh, said on his social media, he said, we have no desire to adapt, quotes, uh, his quotes, the 12 issues Mr. Moore and Mr. Gibbons created 30 years ago. Those issues are sacred ground and they will not be retread, recreated, nor reproduced, nor rebooted. So that's interesting. The next line, he says, they will, however, be remixed. So, it, what that means to me is they're, they're expanding it a little bit. And look, there's nothing wrong with that. We'll see once it airs. But that in and of itself isn't a bad thing. 
Lindelof continued, because the bass lines in those familiar tracks are just too good, we'd be fools not to sample them. Those original 12 issues are our Old Testament. When the New Testament came along, it did not erase what came before it. Creation, the Garden of Eden, Abraham and Isaac, the Flood, it all happened. And so it will be with the Watchmen. The comedian died, Dan and Lori fell in love, Osmond Dias uh, saved the world, and Dr. Manhattan just uh, left it just after blowing Rorschach to pieces in the bitter cold of Antarctica. So, perhaps... This because because if he's looking at it that way, maybe this isn't well. It has to be a prequel. I don't like the dates, like the year that they announced. It, it make it a prequel. So I don't know. I feel like it's very strange that he's looking at it as a past and present kind of thing, and 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 it's not actually that way, but. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's talk about that in the comments. And then we just have two real quick updates. We got Legion renewed for Season 3 on FX and Preacher, a new trailer for Season 3. Um, I'm reworking my way through Season 2 of Preacher. It's not as off as I remembered it being, but it's still kind of off. So I, again, I'm hoping Season 3 is back on track. But that's all we got for TV news this week, guys. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. <sighs> what did I miss? What should we talk about next week, guys? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, remember, there's a website, generallynerdy.net. That is the place to get all of the things. There's store links so you can get nerdy swag up on generallynerdy.net. There is also a Patreon where you can jump on for just a dollar a month, patreon.com slash generallynerdy. And I honestly feel like I'm giving away too much for that one dollar a month. So go sign up for the dollar a month. Get all of that stuff before I change my mind. I, I, I don't think I will. It's not really going to happen. But again, I do feel like I am giving away quite a bit for just a dollar. So check it out. One dollar a month over on patreon.com slash generally nerdy. If you're new to the channel, guys, click the subscribe button. If you like this episode, click the like button. If you're falling behind on your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that. But before you do, always, always remember, if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.